Yo! How is it going everyone? Daxels here and today! Do you know who I like watching at the moment? Liminio! And do you know what he's doing today? Top 10 facts about Minecraft. I like Minecraft, let's just get straight into it. And away we go! Let's go! I bet they're gonna be old facts that don't even matter no more. Minecraft question mark. Top 10 facts Minecraft. Let's go. Number one. Minecraft actually began in the form of another game titled Ruby Dung. What? Not much is known about the game other than that it was influenced by a city building freeware Ooh, game called Dwarf Fortress. Okay. While Notch was working on Ruby Dung, he found another game titled Infiniminer. Infiniminer was an open source multiplayer block based sandbox building and digging game, wow. sharing many similar features with what would later become Minecraft. The name Minecraft came about when a user in an IRC chat room with Notch suggested it, but originally Notch wanted to call it Minecraft Order of the Stone. Hmm. Okay. This is the first ever version and released video of the game, Alpha. then only titled as Cave Game. Only wow, four okay. days later on May 17th, 2009, the very first alpha version of the game is released oh, to the public. No, this image is believed to be the first ever in-game creation shared by a user Damn, only okay. 49 minutes after the game was released. And two and a half hours after release, the very first in-game sprite art in the form of an 8-bit Mario was created Pog. and shared. That's actually sick. If you're even slightly involved in the Minecraft gaming community, it's very likely you've heard Herobrine. about Herobrine. It's yeah. a creepypasta story about the character in the game which looks exactly like the protagonist Steve, with the exception of Blowy the eyes. eyes, which are completely white. Yeah, yeah. Different sources state that Herobrine either started on 4chan or the <laughs> Minecraft forums sometimes in mid to late 2010. Since then, it's achieved an enormous popularity with a large following, <laughs> creating various mods, texture packs, skins, and other game content to bring Hero Brian to life. It got so popular that even the game's creators and developers started making little hints and Easter eggs towards it. For example, in several patch updates, they've added the line Hero Brian removed. <laughs> or in the Xbox 360 that. version of the game, oh there's God. a loading screen note that reads, We think 4J Studios has removed Hero Brian, but we're not too <laughs> sure. However, like <laughs> almost so every true. other creepypasta story, it's all a work of fiction. There's nothing uh, in the source code of the game to indicate Herobrine's existence. That's what they and wanted Notch you has to believe. Notch said himself though. that Herobrine is not in the game and that there are no plans for a future implementation. Yeah, right. The Creeper is a very iconic creature in Minecraft, but it was True. actually created by a mistake. The Creeper came about when the length and height of a pig model was accidentally inverted, resulting oh, wow. in a tall midsection with small legs. Notch liked the look of the model and added a green uh -huh. texture to it, and so the Creeper was born. Nuts, dude, I don't know that. All the creatures in the game are genderless. Even the main protagonist, oh. Steve, is Wait, neither what? male or female or both. The name Steve was actually just suggested as a joke by Notch, but the name stuck with players and has been widely used ever since. If you want to be Steve accurate, Steve should be referred to only as the player. Oh, whoa. What Minecraft is pretty huge. What? I mean like, really huge. It's so huge yeah. that you could say it's infinite and no one would be the wiser. However, that is technically not true. The map itself might be infinite, but the part of the map the player can interact with and walk on is not. One block in Minecraft equals one meter, and if you stand in the center of the world, you will have approximately 30 million blocks in any given direction. That's 60 million meters Wait, in both the C and now? X axis. That I equals 3.6 like, <laughs> quadrillion square meters, okay. 7,000 times larger than the surface of the Earth. Oh, okay, Beyond this them. edge, world generation is is drastically simplified. You'll fall right through blocks and the game will most likely crash. Oof. Oof. There have been some ridiculously amazing and obviously time-consuming Minecraft creations over the years. Here are a few examples. The city King's Landing from the TV series Game of Thrones. That's a sick. computer inside Minecraft using redstone. One of the okay, large dude. cities from the Lord of the Rings universe. Oh, that's Mirror's sick. Edge. A scale oh. model of the starship from the TV series Battlestar Galactica. Okay. And an original Minecraft world called Imperial City. Sick, dude. Sick. When you create a new Minecraft world, you do not only create one world, but three. The default world or dimension is called the overworld. 
Then by using portals, you can travel to two other dimensions. These were in the beginning supposed to be representations of heaven and hell, however, only the latter made it into the game in the form of the nether. The third dimension, which was originally going to be called Sky Dimension, turned into a world called The End, the home world uh, of the Endermans. Okay. And if you've played Minecraft, you should know it's yeah, anything yeah. but heaven. <laughs> If you open up the texture for zombie pigmen, you'll find a hidden message written on it. The message is a thank you note from Notch to the original creator of the skin. And while speaking of textures, oh, wow. three of the pictures featured on paintings in the game are from the game Counter-Strike. Wow, I didn't know that. Part of wow. Minecraft's success is believed to be because of the game's constant updates. New content is added frequently, which keeps the game alive. But because of the constant update, there's bound to be ideas that never made it into the current version of the game. And sometimes you just have to wonder why. Yeah. For example, Gears was a block that was supposed to be added okay. to the game, but for unknown reasons they never did, and most likely was replaced by Redstone. It's not known what function Gears would have had, and the fights has since been completely removed from the current versions of the game. Another feature was mm. lanterns. Just like torches, you could hold the lantern in your hand, but unlike torches, you did not have to place the lantern for it to shine, meaning Wait, you they could have walk around now, at though. night with the lantern equipped Yo. and be able to see just fine. Emerald ore was never supposed to be in the game, but was changed from the previous idea of ruby ore at the last stages of implementation because a developer had trouble spotting the difference between ruby ore and, and redstone. redstone. Yeah. The texture of ruby ore can still be found in the game files and it's unknown whether or not it will be used in the future. Uh. Also in the texture files of the games, there seems to be textures for a chair and a table, leading many players to believe furniture was at some point supposed to be added added to the game. But don't worry, many of these dropped or on hold ideas and features can still be added today by using mods. <laughs> he didn't know. That's Pog. Okay, good video, good video. Okay everyone, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out the original in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, comment what you'd like me to react to next, subscribe if you're new or just haven't yet. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Laters.